Hey everyone, I'm Marky Grouse, and today we're at SEMA. We're at the Steer Smarts booth with Andy Perry, and we're talking about ice cream trucks. Yeah, we've uh, gone ahead and taken a four by e Wrangler, and we turned it into an ice cream truck. That's amazing. Was yeah. there uh, motivation, or uh, the yeah. styling's incredible? Basically, uh, the goal was to create something unique, um, something that would appeal to a lot of people that they could relate to, and who doesn't like ice cream? Yeah, man. Um, we, you know, when we were originally talking about it, we were bringing up ideas, and I happened to mention Sweet Tooth from like Twisted Metal games <laughs> back in the day, and everybody lit, lit up. So we were like, well, what about like an off-road ice cream truck? And so that was kind of the start of this thing, and that's you know what you're seeing behind you now. That's fantastic. Yeah, I was actually, you know, this show has uh, three million square feet of cars uh, and three million cars. I'm feeling like it's but, massive. <laughs> but this this booth specifically popped out. Like, actually, I walked this whole hall and I was like, okay, that one. That's cool. Well, it sounds like we did all right with what we were trying to achieve then. That's awesome. Now, I know you guys sell uh, tie rods and- Yeah, he the, heavy duty uh, steering components. Our core business has been Jeeps in the past. Um, so JK, JL, JTs, Wrangler, Gladiator stuff. Uh, we're starting to branch out now. We've got Bronco parts coming out. Nice. Um, you know, like heavy duty tie rods. Uh, we got Tacoma stuff coming down the line. We've got some Ram 2500, 3500 stuff, nice. F250, 350 stuff coming. Um, Covering all the bases. Yeah, pretty much all the vehicles that people are kind of modifying or putting bigger tires on, uh, they need a, a solution when it comes to helping them steer better. Oh. And another thing that is lacking out there is USA made products, and that's where we can step in with all of the above. Wow. Okay, yeah. so where do you guys produce? Uh, where, you said? Yes. Yeah, so our parent company uh, is in Montpelier, Ohio. So okay. we've got a forge and then our manufacturing's down there as well. And then our shop is set up in uh, like Northwest Detroit in Plymouth. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. So like, so it's, like a, it's like three hours away from us basically, or maybe two and a half, not too far away. We can head down there when we need to, but you know, we obviously have the facility being managed by a group down there and we're good to go. So. That's awesome. So yeah. uh, other than just accommodating big wheels, which I'm guessing is uh, a big demand, uh, what else does it do? You know, you're in terms of the quality. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to actually tighten up. The, like a solid, a solid front axle is much different than independent suspension, right? Um, because everything's tied together uh, through the tie rod, if one tire hits something, the other tire feels it too. And then the drag link is what actually connects the steering box to turn the wheels. So you're getting hits on either side, you're feeling that in the steering wheel, you're getting little jolts and jabs. Um, and also because you're utilizing what their linkages is what we call them to actually create the movement there's there's like delay on the oem stuff because they're using lesser materials obviously they're tr mass producing these things so that they can have something that works but they're not necessarily concerned about anybody who's going to modify their stuff later on mm. yeah. so by doing steel on steel bearings internally adding zerk fittings we're creating parts that not only improve the overall steering capabilities of the vehicle, but will last for you too. Yeah. Because you can grease the joints, um, and they're all forged ends rather than pot metal or whatever you want to call it. So aside from being really beefy and being able to hand the extra, handle the extra loads of the unsprung weight when you up, up your wheel size, um, it really is even beneficial for somebody who's got a stock vehicle. Um, maybe their OEM stuff is kind of worn out uh, and they're looking at replacing it, but rather than replacing it multiple times over the life of your vehicle, you could get away with getting our stuff and doing it once, and then not only having a new setup, but improving the overall steering and everything too. Oh, it makes sense. Yeah. Well, especially for workers and people who actually use I mean, it really <laughs> is for anybody. There's even like a safety aspect involved with it too, uh -huh. you know, so hauling your kids around, having something that you can rely on and know it's going to uh, input whatever it is that you do with your steering is uh, a little bit of a, a relief. I mean, I've had people that were in head-on accidents and they send me photos afterwards and our parts are completely straight. Wow. It like broke the steering knuckle off of, you know, <laughs> of the, of the uh, axle. So it's, it's cool to know that the products that you're putting out there actually make a difference and you're not just peddling product for the, for the purpose of like making money. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Is your engine living its best life? If you have a luxury, sports, or performance vehicle, the answer may be no. 
you need a premium oil engineered specifically for high output engines. That's where Liquimoly comes in. Made in Germany with an innovative additive technology, Liquimoly's synthetic motor oil provides outstanding wear resistance, temperature stability, and cleanliness. Give your high-end engine the high-end oil it deserves. Go to carparts.com slash liquimoly to learn more and find the right oil for you. Download the carparts.com app and accelerate convenience with access to over 850,000 auto parts at your fingertips. We make it easier to find the parts you need anytime, anywhere. Get it now on the Apple App Store and Google Play. Well, do you have any customers that kind of take it to the limit and uh, have tried to break it? Um, I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are people out there that unintentionally will break stuff. Uh, a lot of times it, it comes down to like a a driver mod, if you will. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, new new people into it, don't have the correct people around spotting to help them understand, hey, you know, your tie rod's hitting a rock right now. Don't push the gas pedal, like change your line. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, there's gonna be, there's gonna be failures, but with that, we also engineer the products to have a mode for a failure. So rather than randomly, th yeah, yeah, like a snap to a tie yeah. rod end, like we set it up so that they're heat treated to a point of, uh, you know, being very structurally sound. But when it does fail, you get a bend. Oh. So because a bend allows you to get off the trail, a snapped end, you're stranded, you're stranded. or you're, you're trying to find somebody with like a welder on oh, that God. can like figure out something to get you off the trail. So oh, that sounds it's fun. not ideal to break something, but if you're going to break it, it's better to have that. So if somebody, say they have a new Bronco, yeah. uh, they want to do some updates, uh, what do you think is the, the progression they should take to, you know, in addition to using your parts, wheels, like what? It really depends on what they're planning to use the vehicle for. Um, a, a lot of people want to put a bigger tire on it because mm -hmm. that's the new thing now, right? Like uh, when I was growing up. Uh, when I was in high school, that was a, 30, <laughs> a 33 was a big tire though, right? Oh yeah, that's true. Like a 33 was a huge tire when we were growing up. And now, <clears throat> A 40 is like a 40. 33, yeah, you know, but on Broncos, you're probably getting a, you might be fitting a 37 on there. Okay. Um, but the unsprung weight changes, so it's beneficial to upgrade the tie rod ends, which is something that we offer. There's been plenty of people out there that have gone out and wheeled with them, and they pretty much banana the little tiny tie rod, inner mostly. Um, but our outer is steel on steel bearings and all the good stuff that I talked about before, plus it has a, a reinforcement. Uh, jam nut on the inside so it's actually taking and moving and reinforcing that inner so that you can remain with the stock inner but but have a, an improvement overall yeah, that's awesome yeah good <coughs> now for uh the ice cream truck are you actually yeah. going to take it to some uh some events off-road events yes off? sir so first plan for this will be to go to ejs which is easter jeep safari that's uh obviously around the easter time frame in the spring and it's a massive event, tons of people out there, and we plan to bring it out there and actually serve some ice cream. Wow. We have a soft serve machine inside. I was gonna say, is there actual equipment <laughs> in there? Yep, yep, we've got a soft serve machine inside, and uh, we don't know where we'll be yet, but uh, people can expect to have a surprise, uh, either at the beginning of a trailhead or at the end, with a little uh, speed treat. Nice, and they can tag you, share some pictures. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, and it, you know, you can see how popular <laughs> it was just from behind us. I think it's been a, it's a hit. It's been, uh, it's been awesome. All the hard work is uh, is kind of like solidified with seeing the smiles and the laughs and the photos and people coming up and saying, "I can't believe you guys did this." You know, it's 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 been really good. That's awesome. How how long was the build? And we did it. It was probably six to eight weeks. Wow! Wow, that's that's pretty quick. Eight, yeah, eighteen hour days. Eighteen hour days. Yeah, yeah. Lots a, of, long, a lack of a lack of sleep. Uh, not seeing family. Um, sacrifices, but that's where I say like the payoff kind of is there because you're seeing everybody interact with it and ask questions and they come up asking if they can get ice cream and you know like those are the things that where you kind of know like okay we did something so, right. You did and, and even you know among <clears throat> the thousands of vehicles here like this one does stand out and uh, it looks fantastic and you can Thank tell you very much. the amount of detail you put into it. Yeah and it was a team effort too it wasn't like one person like even the design aspect of it there was there were three of us that really came together to kind of give the vision for it. But then the rest of the team, or a small team, like stepped in and they, they wrenched on it with us right alongside. Like they were sacrificing the same stuff that the rest of us were to, I don't know, make Get something that, again, we were hoping, like fingers crossed, like <laughs> everybody sees it as like the same that we Blows did. Away. And I, I, again, I 
I think we did pretty good. Oh, you did. Well, and not just that, but the booth is cool. You yeah. Know, you can't see the signage here, but your shirts, I guess. Yeah. You're... This is uh, shirt number four of the of the week. We had different ones every day. Yesterday, they were Bomb Pops with uh, with the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> the day before, it was actually Trapper Keeper shirts. So nice. they had like an old print from a Trapper Keeper. Like, just fun stuff. Like the plasma ball fog lights. Like, is it functional? No, but it's fun. It's definitely <laughs> the neon fun. on top. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you're not going to wheel around with that stuff, but you get set up somewhere and you put it up, and we've got an inverter in there so we can run it off the hybrid system. And uh, you know, again, I, I just envision this idea of like coming in up to the top or the end of a trail or like to the overlook, and you see the the ice cream truck there, and you're just like, Where? what is this? <laughs> And you walk up and somebody hands you an ice cream cone and you get to enjoy the view up there and also have a little sweet treat nice. like I don't the know. Trail. to me that's not, that seems like a pretty awesome thing that is well uh, love the vision love the execution Thank and you. It, it, i think it really shows the amount of detail and care you put into the products so definitely recommend that everybody checks it out uh where can people learn more about the product and uh, uh see the steersmarts.com is where we have all of our products there's uh if you're interested in becoming a dealer we've got a dealer application on there too uh, all of our social media is going to be like slash Deer Smarts. Um, so Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. We do a lot of our own videos for installation, and we're trying to get into some more. Um, you know, talking about our brand partners in addition to our stuff and giving tips and tricks. So, yeah. Well, fantastic! Thanks so much for uh, coming on the podcast. Well, thank you very much. It's Thanks been so much. Uh, it's been a good time. Awesome. Well, Thanks. Good luck with the show. Thank you. You too.